We are from group 1 which are consist of 3 members. They are Ayam Elasari as the first presenter, Yasmin Azahra as the second presenter, and Hadad Alwidali Munte as the editor of this video. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh We are from group 1 which are consist of 3 members They are Ayam Elasari as the first presenter Yasmin Azahra as the second presenter And Hadad Alwidali Munte as the editor of this video So in this video we would like to explain about speech acts and diaxis The first explanation is about the role of diaxis in transforming direct speech into indirect speech And how the performative verbs as the speech X markers do not occur in direct speech but occur in indirect speech that will be presented by me and the next explanation is about diaxis that will be presented by Yasmin Azahra. Direct speech consists of words or phrases that are taken directly from the source meanwhile indirect speech also known as reported speech is when words or phrases that are reported in our own words and performative verb is a verb that explicit conveys the type of speech acts being performed a speech act is an expression of intent therefore a performative verb also called a speech act verb or performative utterance is an action that conveys intent so the speech act it can be the form of promise invitation, for request, warning, providence, and more. So, we can take an example of direct speech. The lecturer asked to me, what are you doing here in this time? That sentence is direct speech, so I will transform it into indirect speech become The lecturer wondered me what I was doing there at that time. The lecture words is not just a question to his student that he wants to know what his student doing there at that time. Instead, the speech act is used wondered, committed by the lecturer to wonder his student, even though the verb wondered is not explicit in his speech. In other words, direct speech is not content of performative verb. In indirect speech, the lecturer the lecturer also can say to the third person become I wondered him what he was doing there at that time. In other words, the lecturer is made explicit verbs which express acts of locution from the utter from the utterance he uttered or the verbs in speech act theory or it is called a performative verb that is the word wondered. So that is the explanation from me. The next will be explained by Jasmine Azahar. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Yasmin Azahra, and we are going to continue our discussion about diaxis. The question is, what is diaxis? Diaxis is a speaker-centric notion that is the speaker uses diaxis and diactic elements while producing language. So that is diaxis. Next to the type of diaxis, there are three types. The first is person diaxis. Person diaxis refers to personal pronouns such as I, you, he, she, it, and they. When a speaker produces the word I, that pronoun refers to the specific speaker. So we can take the previous example. For direct speech, when the lecturer asks to me, what are you doing here at this time? The lecturer as the speaker mentioned the word you, which is referred to the reverent object, that is me. And for the indirect speech, the lecturer wondered her what she was doing in there at that time. Uh, the same reference is changed using the third person that is her. The second type is place diaxis. Place diaxis refers to where the speaker is. For example, for in, for direct speech, the lecturer asked to me, what are you doing here at this time? The word here refers to, to my current locations. 
uh, the place labeled by here because it's near to me. Meanwhile, for indirect speech, the lecturer wondered her what she was doing in there at that time. The word here in direct speech turns out into there at in indirect speech. So the same place is labeled by a different word uh, because it's far from the third person as the speaker. Therefore, the same reference, the same object is labeled by different word form depending on the distance between the speaker and the object. The third type is time diaxis. Time diaxis refers to the current time in when the utterance is spoken. Uh, if you go back to the previous example for direct speech, when the lecturer asked to me, what are you doing here at this time? The word at this time refers to the time is happening. Then for indirect speech, the lecturer wondered her what she was doing in there at that time. The word this time turns out into that time because of the level of past dependent on the distance speaker's utterance. So that's all about the axis. Thank you for watching this video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.